Hey everybody. Um, so we are moving into chapter five. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about histology, meaning we're going to talk about the study of tissues, all right, and specifically different types of cells that make those tissues. So in chapter five, there's two major sections that we're going to focus on. We're going to talk about connective tissues uh, as well as epithelial tissues. So there are four major types of tissues. We're going to cover all four of them. Um, chapter, uh, I believe it's seven, is going to go into, I'm sorry, chapter nine is going to talk about muscles, and then chapter 10 is going to be about nervous uh, tissue. But first, before we get to that, I want to talk about epithelial and connective tissues. Uh, with that said, for all of these tissues, uh, specifically the ones we're going to be talking about in the next couple of videos, I want you to keep these couple of things in mind. Number one, what is a tissue? All right, a tissue is just going to be a group of very closely related uh, or associated cells. That said, we need to keep in mind their structure and their function. And as a rule of thumb, structure and function are closely related. So in other words, if you see the structure of something, it usually dictates the function of that object. And usually if you think about the function of an object, you can kind of come up with its structure, but more so structure dictates function. So with that said, especially when we talk about epithelial cells, um, being that it is a tissue that people are not as familiar with, keep in mind, just think about what does the structure look like to you? How do you think that structure is going to dictate the function of that tissue? And based on that, where might I see these cells in the body? All right, so it is more than just memorizing. Can you memorize? I'm sure you can. But at the end of the day, just try to think, what does it look like? What might it do? And therefore, where could I find it? All right, so the next few videos are going to talk about epithelial tissues. And let's just jump into that right now.